Good morning everyone, I'm currently in Manila. I'm so excited to be back to properly explore. Today, I'm gonna to be going to the Venice Grand Canal Mall. It's very touristy, but I have a bit of a, a nicer um, day out plan tomorrow with my friend Stacey, so that will be really nice to vlog for you guys. But today, let's go to the mall, let's go explore. Um, it looks really cool there, and I'm excited to go get something to eat. It's so funny because every time I vlog and my mum watches my vlogs, shout out to you, mum, love you. <laughs> every time she's like, Louisa, all you do is talk about food in your videos. Like, I'm starving, I wanna eat, let's go eat. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, because I'm vlogging my day and I have to eat, like, I'm, I'm sorry guys, we're going to talk about eating a lot because it's a basic human um, requirement that I need to eat to continue staying alive, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Here is the Venice Grand Canal Mall, a very grand entrance. I love the way the grand entrance is just ruined by the big M McDonald's sign. <laughs> just got a 35 minute um, drive grab and it cost me £3.80 so yeah, so cheap. And I'm going to go explore, I'm very excited. As soon as you come in, you see the canal. Oh this is so cute, there's like a little couple on the, on the boat there. Wow, I feel like I'm in Venice. <laughs> I've never even been to Venice. This is actually really cool though. So this is like the entrance of the mall and you've got all shops and then, oh, there's a creepy guy here. <laughs> this is like one of the cooler tourist attractions I've been to. I'm so impressed, Vanilla. CGI Fridays was a thing in Manila. I didn't know that. Also, I forgot to mention that my GoPro broke. I'm gonna tell you guys more about that later. So I'm having to film on my iPhone now, which is super annoying because the quality isn't as good, I don't think. Um, but yeah, mum, this is for you. I'm going to get food. restaurants along the sides of the canal here as well I don't know like there's too much choice to be honest <laughs> I don't know what to go for I've decided to eat here because we're in Venice and it's very fitting I have an excuse to actually eat Italian food my fave do I get pasta or pizza that is the question I'm in a really nice Italian well it's got 4.99 out of 5 star reviews so I'm hoping it's a nice Italian. I've got a really nice view of the canal out here. But yeah, I'm trying to decide whether I go for pasta or pizza. I'm really hungry, but sometimes my eyes are like bigger than my stomach. So let's see. This smells absolutely delicious. Wow. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this. Guys, Italianis at Grand, uh, Venice Grand Canal Mall was absolutely amazing. Like the best pasta I've had in a long time. And the service was so good. They were so, so, so friendly. Um, I literally already left them like reviews, like a Google review and um, yeah, amazing. Make sure you go there when you come here. Really, really, really enjoyed it. There's a tiny little market down there as well. Oh my gosh, there's a Taco Bell here. Gee, if you're watching, miss you, love you. It's our fave, Taco Bell. <laughs> There's so many places to eat here. There's a wine pizza pasta. I kind of want to get gelato to be honest after I walk off this food a little bit. And they've got these weird like, um, okay, maybe that's really mean to say weird, but like <laughs> these people. <laughs> and there's a food court in here apparently. So let's go check it out. 
show you guys the food court. We've got loads. Oh, I see ice cream, I see ice cream. <laughs> I'm not ready for ice cream yet though. What is in here? Venice Corporate Centre. Oh my god. This is the tastiest looking gelato I've ever seen in my entire life. <gasps> they have my fave flavor pistachio as well. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Cookie dough, mint chocolate. <laughs> They're probably looking at me like this weirdo. Drooling over the ice cream. I am coming back for this, guys. I'm coming back for this. Oh. There's a Dunkin' Donuts as well. They've got loads of like chain places here. Frozen yogurt. Okay, I just wanted to see what was around here. This is just like another entrance. So now I'm gonna go up to the second level. It's actually just started raining. I don't know if you can see. I haven't seen much rain in Asia this time around. This is inside the mall. Have a look in some shops. We've got a Converse store, we've got New Balance. There's a Uniqlo. Oh wow, I didn't actually realize there's such a big, like more with loads of um, fashion shops. I thought it was just kind of like more, just the canal and like some eateries. So this is actually really um, nice. This is like the nicest mall I've seen so far in the Philippines. Really, really, really nice. Really recommend coming here if you guys are visiting Manila. This is Venice Piazza. It's like a party going on here. No one's here, but it's still a party. <laughs> there is a cat cafe right by the Venice Piazza. I see little cat beds in there, that's so cute. Wait, can I see any cats? I don't wanna like looking because there's people in there and that's kind of rude. I can't see any cats, guys. Oh my God, I see a cat. Oh my God, it's a fat cat and it's eating. It's just like me. Look. That's so funny. I did not realize how big this place is. Like I'm on, I'm on an upper level. Found the perfect place to try and get an iced coffee. That's like, it's really annoying. I want like ice cream, iced coffee, everything, but I don't want everything at the same time. Like it's too much. But maybe I'll be here long enough. So I didn't realise this is actually a coffee bean and tea leaf, like the one I was talking about in Porta Princesa, until I got to the counter and I saw they had the white chocolate cold brew. It's so good. This is the best place. I guess it's like an Asian Starbucks. I don't really know. They obviously have Starbucks here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this. This is where I went, the coffee bean and tea leaf. Randy's donuts, I've not heard of this before. And now the sun's come out. It was raining and it was so like cloudy and gray. And now the sun's out. Maybe it will look better in the canal now. Honestly, I don't know if I'm getting ill, but I have not felt hot today at all. And it is hot, but I just don't feel hot, which is a good thing. But I'm also a bit worried that that means that I'm getting ill. Cause like, why do I not feel hot when it's so hot? This is so much better. Look with the blue skies, it looks so nice. I'm now heading over to find a Watson's because I've run out of conditioner and um, I need to get some makeup wipes and things like that. So on Google Maps it says there's a Watson's or maybe it's actually in that mall place here. I found the Watson's. It's like a retail park or something. There's so much around here where I'm staying. It's like really rubbish. There's like nothing around where I'm staying. And I thought I did my research to find somewhere that was like really well located or whatever but 
it's not once i leave i'll let you guys know where i was staying and i'll give my full review because i'm i'm like impressed with the place itself but the area no like not at all i just did a little watson's shot got myself a few bits um some moisturizer and some water and some wipes this is one they recommended green caviar cream moisturizer so let's see how it goes <laughs> not sure i never know like whether they're actually recommending stuff or they're just trying to like upsell and like hit targets but i guess we'll see i did try it out and it seemed good so i'm just waiting for my grab home now back and I'm actually really sad because I was just too full up to get ice cream like that ice cream looked so good but I I just like could not so I feel like I have to go back there another day just to get that ice cream because it looked so amazing um I'm very sad I wish I had more room I've like <laughs> I always like my stomach always shrink, um, shrinks in Asia so it's a good thing but also it's sad because I really wanted to try that ice cream but there you go <laughs> Also, I was upsold this moisturizer, green caviar. I thought she said, I asked how much it is. I thought she said 249 and that's like, I don't know, four pound. And then I took it to the till with other stuff. Anyway, I get the receipt, stupidly don't even know that there's a price on it. That's like 21 pounds. <laughs> Why did I buy a caviar moisturizer? I'm so extra and I didn't even know. I'm so sad I did not intend to spend this much on a moisturizer, but Hopefully it's good. 